looking out for you tonight, a simple oil change has turned into a disaster for a local woman. And now she's out hundreds of dollars after she says take five oil messed up her car. News Force Tanner De Leon spoke with her today about what happened. Tanner, what'd you find out? Well, Amy Tyler says it was supposed to be a routine oil change. Once they were finished, she tried driving off the lot and noticed her car was not running right. And she says take five oil won't take responsibility for it. As I was pulling out, just immediately the car wasn't behaving normally. So I immediately kind of turned around and inched it back up to the garage, parked it and went inside and, and said there's just something really drastically wrong with my car. And as Amy would quickly find out, she was right. I'd sat in the bay for a while and he came back and told me that the transmission fluid had been drained. For some reason, in the course of her oil change, her transmission was also drained, rendering it undrivable. Take 5 Oil held her car overnight, then towed it to Cavender Subaru in Norman to get the issue fixed. She brought in her vehicle uh, on March 7th. What we found was that the CVT fluid had been drained. Um, to uh, repair this, we filled it up, tested it with the normal refill uh, procedure, went and test drove it, and today she is picking it up on March 12th. While the fix may have been relatively easy, it hasn't been cheap. When they told me that my car would be towed to Subaru, they told me I would be financially responsible for any repairs, damages, or servicing, and that if I re required a rental car, I would also have to pay for the rental car, that I should save my receipts and bring them back to Take 5, and that they would start a claim. Amy had questions, so she reached out to the district manager. Six days later, and Take 5 still hasn't responded. I tried calling the district manager with questions. Um, I've reached out by email. I've left messages on the website. We tried reaching out and no luck either, so we went to the location in Norman. I was told not to speak on the situation because I don't handle the process. Amy hopes to hear back from Take 5 Oil soon, but her patience is running thin. They don't seem to care at all about what happened to my car. And at this point, I just want to know what do I have to do to expedite being reimbursed for what I'm out of pocket for, for what they did. Now, Amy says between the oil change and Cavender Subaru fixing what she claims take five oil did, she is out nearly $500, which might not be much to some, but she says every penny counts. Thank you.